Hey guys and guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today guys I'll be showing you guys how you guys can install custom capes for Minecraft Bedrock. As you guys can see I have the 2012 Minecon cape on right now. But if we look at my character profile settings, we will see that I have an entire section devoted to custom capes. When we click on that, you guys can see that I have all sorts of capes. From animal capes to all sorts of different capes like superhero capes as we just saw Captain America shield. But yeah, there's going to be all sorts of capes on here. Well guys, this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial on how you guys can install custom capes for Minecraft Bedrock. And guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh. Oh. Alright guys, so you're going to first want to direct yourself to your main browser in search of IOBits, like this. And this should be the first one that comes up. Here, let's add unlocker at the end, because that's what we'll be needing. So there's going to be IOBit unlocker, and you're going to want to click on the first link, and there should be the free download. So there's going to be the free download, there's going to be the unlock setup and everything. And when that exe is done downloading, just cl click on it. It should ask for an admin, and then afterwards it's going to say, Welcome to the IOBit unlocker with setup wizard. You're going to want to click through everything. And then after that, it's going to say a bunch of installation paths. You're going to finish that up, and your IOBit should open. So you're going to want to close out of that for now. And you're going to want to make a new folder. You're going to name that folder, um, let's see, um, Persona, right? And afterwards, I'm going to quickly go into my downloads, and I'm going to pull out another file that I have. Um, if I can find it here. There's going to be this custom key pack that I'm going to leave to in the description, which is made by Bionic Ben, so shout out to him. But, um, okay, so we're gonna wanna open up the custom capes, and there's gonna be a folder in here, the custom capes by Bionic Ben. Just drag that out onto your desktop, and it should drag out, yep. And then you're gonna wanna close out of that, and you can delete the zip file if you want. And then there's going to be a bunch of files in here. And for the next step we're gonna wanna do is if you have a upload skin that you uploaded onto your thing, like your imported skin, um, I don't know if you're using a um, skin that's already on the one of the packs given to you by Minecraft, but if you guys do not know how to uh, get it, you guys can go to name MC, and it should be the first thing up over here, where you guys can get all sorts of Minecraft skins. You can go to top Minecraft skins, it can be new skins, it can be tagged skins, all sorts of skins, like this Doug skin, a bunch of skins but yeah after you guys do that you should download a png and i have a png right now for my skins so you're going to want to rename that png file bionic all right because you're going to be replacing another skin that was by bionic ben but um i'm going to want to open the folder and you're going to want to drag bionic png into there and it should say the destination already has a file named bionic png just qu click on replace file and it should go in. Okay, so now you're going to want to open IOBit. And once you open IOBit, you're going to want to go to add. And then after that, you're going to want to go through your C drive. And then go to program files. And then after that, go to your um, app data over here. But if you guys don't have this, like if it doesn't show up for you, because for some people it doesn't. Go to your C drive, open up the um, program files, and then go over to the little view tab. If you guys can see that, there's a view tab. And then check hide uh, hidden items. Then you guys should see all of these like fainted out folders over here. And after that, you should be able to then open up IOBit. Um, then you can add some files. So here, go to C drive, we go to program files. Here, this is the wrong folder. Um, program files. We're going to go down to the folder that says Windows apps. Then come down here to where it says, come down to the M section and go down to where it says Minecraft UWP. I think this is 1.16, yeah. Open that up. Go to your data. After this, go to skin packs. Click on persona. I already have these installed, but I'm gonna be doing deleting this. For the video, so go, go to the arrow and do unlock and delete. 
And the reason we're deleting this is because we're going to be replacing the current persona file you have with the new one that we have just made. So you can press exit. And after you do this, guys, open up your custom capes folder and click drag everything in this folder, everything. And then take out this and throw it all into the persona folder. All right. So take it all and move it over into the persona folder. So now your persona folder is set up. You guys can open up IOBit again and drag this persona folder in here. And then we're going to do unlock and move. And then we're going to go to the same directory as we just did. So Windows C, Program Files, Window Apps, Minecraft UWP, Data, Skin Packs, and there shouldn't be a Persona folder here anymore, but just do OK. And it should move everything. All right, now that that folder is gone, we can do Exit, and we can do... Where is it? Um, Minecraft, I have it on here somewhere. If I don't, I, okay, here it is. I changed the icon on it. But you should run up Minecraft. It shouldn't take that long. But yeah, when Minecraft runs, I have a texture pack installed currently right now. But when you go to profile, you go to edit character, and then go to owned, you should have an entire section here. And a red letter is called custom cape skin pack. And... Now guys, whichever skin you decided to put in here is the skin that it's going to use. Like some of these skins, this is Bionic Ben skin, but um, if you, whichever skin you imported to replace his skin, it should use these, your, that skin that you imported. So I had used my blue skin, the one that looks like me, I guess, kind of. But anyways, that skin should be replaced, that replaced the skin. And now you have almost every cape. That you can think of the special capes and some new ones also. Most of these are new because these are custom made. But I'm going to go to the quickly come down here to where it says the minecon because it fits with my outfit a lot. It's the best one I found. But um, let's go down to the M and there should be my minecon 2012 cape. And yeah, guys. So now we can just pop into some server. I'll just pop into the hive. And yeah, guys. Now when we load in, um, yeah, I'm so in <laughs> for, um, third person. But as you guys can see, guys, um, I have my cape on right now. And everyone else in the lobby can see it. I tested this out with some of my friends, with Ethan and Alex. And they said they could see the cape. And I also taught them how to do this as well. So, yeah. Anyone can see your cape, it's not just you who can see it. But yeah guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then smash that like button. And if you guys want, you guys can subscribe. I'm not gonna ask anyone to, but yeah guys. If you guys like this video, just hit that like button and we'll try to make more content like this. Well guys, we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later.